It is that time of year again when Nicole Talbert of Ernst & Young brings into Studio J the all-star voting results. They are top secret. Only Nicole and our buddy Mark Broussard of the NBA. Thank you very much, Nicole. No, she knows. Nicole knows. knows. She does and know. Mark Doesn't Broussard know. knows the official starters for the All-Star game in Indianapolis. Uh, in the next few minutes, the world will know. Welcome to TNT NBA Tip-Off presented by CarMax. What a special Johnson. night. Shaquille O'Neal. How are you, kid? I'm good, what brother. Are you oh, yeah, I'm okay. just you Kenny the Jet Smith. Oh, okay. Well, Charles Barkley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. This yeah, is, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we forget we to get it right. You guys get your act together, oh, man. Dude. It's yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. What's up, baby? We changed it. This is this is always a fun night, and um, it's an amazing night for yeah. a player, or anything. Yeah. Um, you been there? You both been yeah. there? I mean, it's, 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 it's a blessing. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you number one, it, I actually think it would mean more to me today, to be honest with you. When it's such, when you you know, the coaches, the fans, and your, your, and, oh, your and players, yeah. fans, and yes. media. That would be that's even to me make it even more special. And and now that you bring that up, we should point that out too. So the fans, that's fifty percent, and then the media, twenty five percent, and the players, fifty percent. Uh, excuse me, players, twenty five percent. So here we go. Oh, look at rich rich Corinthian leather here. This is awesome. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We, I, I used to do all these all by myself, but I think well, it's a lot of fun. I, no, no, I think it's a lot of fun here when we let you guys. I know, but I'm saying it was selfish when you to do it by yourself. Okay, sorry. Um, the East Front Court. Don't Will you pass, you pass that to the Chuckster, if you would, please? Read, Ernie, don't let him do it. <coughs> I don't have to be able to read, Jack. Uh, it, it would be helpful here. <laughs> you just had to. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Chuck. Finish the joke. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. The East Front Court, led by the captain, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo, oh. here we go. Close All enough. Right, let's... No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It's been too many years, you can't. Yeah. Eight straight all-star appearances for the Greek freak in his 11th season, averaging 31, 12, and 6. He's third in scoring, fifth in rebounding. Top 20 in assists, uh, 25 games of 30 plus, six of 40 plus, and had 64 against Indiana earlier this season. What would be the next card you have, well, Chuckster? He only had 64. Somebody else had more. The next is from my Philadelphia 76ers, Mr. Joel Embiid. Yes, the uh, the reigning MVP, seven straight All-Star selections. Leads the league in scoring with 36 a night. Averaging 12 rebounds, which is number six. Averaging a career-high six assists as well, while shooting 54%. And, um, of course, he had that 70-point game against 70. the San Antonio Jeez. Spurs. Jeez. Who, would be the, who would be the final front and last, starter? And definitely not least, from the Boston Celtics, Mr. Jason Tatum. There you go, 25-year-old Jason Tatum, his fifth all-star selection, fifth straight, 27 points a night, that's ninth in the league, eight rebounds, four assists, playing in 41 of their 44 games, 17 games of at least 30 points. So what do you think of your Eastern Conference front court there, Chuckster? I think just it's, uh, they got the right three. Uh, you know, Joel Embiid got one MVP last year and is playing better this year. Uh, and obviously, the other two guys are fantastic. So I got no problem with those three guys. I'm looking at uh, the breakdown here that they have of uh, fans, players, and media. So the player rank for Giannis was number one. Embiid was two. Tatum was three. Fans had it one, two, three with... Uh, uh, Giannis, Tatum, and Embiid third. The media had Giannis, Joel, and Tatum, one, two, three. The fourth place finisher, by the way, was Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics. Shall we move on to the East guards? Kenny, would you uh, would I would you love do the to, honors? Ernest. Going to be reading two names one at a time here. Sound it out. Sound it out, Kenny. Antetokounmpo. 
<laughs> How about that? Uh, yeah, I did. I gave, uh, I gave the wrong envelope to okay. the wrong guy. That okay. sounded okay. out. I told you, you know. that man can't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. From the Indiana Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton. Yes, the uh, league leader in assists. He oh. had a tremendous I, year. Wait, when is the All-Star game? Oh my gosh! Middle of February, man. Cause he's out. You're going. He's out. Cause he's out three weeks. That was my. That's the point I was trying to make. Well, I hope he's well, able to play, man. Uh, Especially at home. Yeah, yeah. At the crib. He's gonna play. Oh, 20, dude, he got a bad hamstring. Twenty-four points a game, uh, thirteen assists, the best mark in the NBA. Uh, seven games of thirty plus. And uh, he makes it for the second straight time in his fourth well deserved. season. Tyrese Halliburton, uh, Eastern Conference starting guard. There's a there's a spot for another guard here. Ken. There's an- another spot. And he's a good one. From the Milwaukee Bucks, Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard, uh, the starting alongside Tyrese Halliburton. Damian's 32 years old now. It's eighth All-Star appearance in his 12th season. He's given the Bucks 25 points a game. That's 16th in the league. Uh, number 12 and assists with seven a game. And uh, game time in Indianapolis as he joins Tyrese Halliburton, Kenny, as starting guards for the East. What do you think? Uh, no complaints. I mean, these two guys are difficult to guard, difficult to leave off any list that says a star behind it. Too the, difficult. Yeah, the breakdown on this now. Uh, in the player vote, Halliburton first, Damian Lillard was fourth. Who was second on the player rank? Tyrese Maxey. Fan vote, Halliburton first, Trey Young second, Lillard third. Media vote, Halliburton first, Jalen Brunson second, Mm. Damian Lillard was fifth. But of course, these are all weighted in the 50-25-25. It comes out Tyrese Halliburton over Damian Lillard and... um, it's, man, it was just so tight between Brunson and Lillard for that starting spot, but it goes to uh, wow. Damian Lillard. Um, okay, West front court. Dr. O'Neill. You know I know how to read. Yes, I do. Hamburger, french fries, french toast. <laughs> french <W>. toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the captain... From the Los Angeles Lakers, the King, LeBron James. This makes 20 straight appearances. Most all-star appearances ever. Ever. Belongs to LeBron James at 39. Wow. 25 points a game, seven rebounds, seven assists. Three-time all-star game MVP. And uh, the quote, captain. The captain thing is more of a... Like a uh, ceremonial, yeah, because you d- we're not having the draft anymore. But uh, oh, no draft anymore. No, no draft anymore. Nobody so Le- gets left last. No, no. So, so they didn't LeBron, like that. LeBron James uh, is there. Two more. Two There's more. two more. The next name he plays for the Phoenix Suns, and he goes by the name of Kevin Durant. Yes, indeed. Uh, Suns have been on a roll. They've 26 and 18. Great. 14-time All-Star now. Uh, wow. Scoring 29, six rebounds six assists and uh, shooting 45 percent from deep which is number four in the league so kevin durant once again uh, an all-star four-time scoring champion and of course kenny two-time horse champion, horse champion. yes uh, kevin durant who's your who's your final front court starter in Our the west final front court starter is the vice president of the big man alliance it goes by the name <laughs> of nikola Jokic. <laughs> did I said that right, Joker. Yes, you did. The Joker. Little we'll Joker, read yeah. that. Six straight appearances, fourth straight start, ninth season for the Joker. Twenty-six points a game, twelve rebounds, nine assists, tied for the league lead in double doubles with Demonis Sabonis. Leads the league in triple doubles. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, with thirteen, and so those are your three in the Western Conference in the front court. Uh, LeBron. Jokic, Durant. Uh, LeBron was number two in the uh, player voting. Uh, Joker was one. Durant was three. Fans had it. LeBron, Joker, Durant. And uh, in the media, it was Joker, LeBron, 
and Durant. Anthony Davis was fourth and Kawhi Leonard fifth mm. in the voting. Uh, which brings us to the last envelope, and that would be the West Guards. <coughs> Leading it off, from the Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic. So Luka, no surprise. No surprise. Fifth straight All-Star selection, sixth season. Um, here's a guy giving you 34, which is second in the league, also a career high. Eight rebounds, nine assists. He's number three in the league in assists. 48% shooter, 37% from deep, which is a career high in 29 games of at least 30 points. And so that leaves us one more one spot. all-star starter in the backcourt. Starting guard, joining Luka Doncic. Shea Gilgis Alexander well deserved. of the well Oklahoma deserved. City Thunder. Nobody's got more 30-point games in the league this year than SGA. 32 of those, five games of at least 40 points, and he makes the All-Stars for the second time in his sixth season. 31 points a night, six rebounds, and six assists, shooting a career high. 55%, Shaq. Wow. That's well-deserved. I'm happy for him. Uh, you know, true definition of hard work pays off. Very, very herky-jerky type player. Very hard to guard, but I'm happy for him. Both East and the West selections can be mad. Well, you know, of course, every year, you know, you, they're very subjective. Of he should have been and he should have been in, but I'm not mad at the East or the West starting by. Luca and Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Uh, SGA was number one in the player vote. Mm. Uh, Luca was number two. Steph was number three. Fans had Luca, Steph, and SGA. And the media had SGA, Luca, and Anthony Edwards third, followed by Stephen Curry. But overall, Curry finishes third, Edwards fourth in that balloting. So big picture, you know, we, we look at what we've, what we've just witnessed here, Chuck, and what's your takeaway? Well, I actually like when you were going over, I like what the player said. I got none. I'm never going to throw shade at Dame Lillard. I love him as a person and as a player, but I would have loved to see Jalen Brunson be a starter. I said this last year. I can't believe what a great player he's turned into. When he went to the Knicks last year, I was like, that's a good signing. It's one of the best signings. I've ever seen for a free agent. Nobody knew he was going to be that good. You know, uh, he has been fantastic. He's made the Knicks relevant. And uh, I would love, uh, you, you know, don't think the Lakers signing Shaq was. No, a, Shaq was an all Hall of Famer. You said one no, of no, the no. greatest Shaq, signings no, no. in free it's agency. Just, yeah, it is one of the did greatest he, Did he say that? Shaq, it, it, did I, he not I'll say stick, that? And I'll stick by but, that. But it is a great free agent. I, I mean, it's, not, it's not bringing Shaq to Los Angeles. You no, know, but, but listen, Shaq was already one it's, of the best players in the world ever. That's nobody a great free thought, agent no, no, nobody thought Jalen Brunson was going to be as good as he is. You don't think bringing Kevin Durant to Golden State was a great... Th th those guys were already made men. Okay. Nobody thought Jalen Brunson was going to be... No, he's great. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's going to be an all-star, but... He's going to be an all-star, but, but I'm saying I'm saying that's one of the NBA greatest history. free agents signed, in, in my opinion. History. It's my opinion. Like Shaq <laughs> and Kevin Durant, those guys, Hall of Famers. Okay. They were already great players when they got traded. Nobody, and I guarantee you, if the Knicks be honest with you, they didn't think he was going to be this good. They thought he would be an upgrade. But what Jalen Bronson has did for the Knicks, he made the New York Knicks relevant for the first time since Patrick Ewing. Yeah, Plain and simple. 27 points a game for Jalen Brunson, four rebounds and six assists, playing in 42 of their 44 games. And I should point out, I talked about how close that race was between Damian Lillard and Jalen Brunson. Actually, identical finishing scores of 3.75, but because Lillard had more fan votes, that is the tiebreaker. Oh, wow. So Damian Lillard becomes the starter for the Eastern Conference in the backcourt. Um, Good stuff. Congratulations to all those who uh, we had the pleasure of announcing here. And when we come back, one of those guys that we uh, announced uh, is going to be joining us, as a matter of fact. Luka Doncic in the studio coming up.